So this is LX2. I didn't have the pleasure of playing the first one, so this one should be a lot of fun for me. Join us on our fun journey, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to watch the cinematics, and then we're going to break down the game itself. Magalon, home to a civilization of millions. 166 years have passed since the comet hit, turning everything to ashes. A new era has begun. The war between the free people and the Alps is over. The hybrid lost control of its armies and ceased to function. The Alps became understanding and peaceful. The Elix was released and once again spread across the entire hemisphere below the Alps Ice Palace. No, not that commander. Oh, God. But humans are quick to forget. Many of the larger settlements claimed the victory as their own and paid little interest to the affairs of others. Only a few remember those dark times, or one Commander Jax. My name and my deeds faded away in the mists of myth and legend. Many years after the war with the Alps, humankind is plagued by petty conflicts and territorial disputes. Even though there's still the persistent uneasiness about the strange celestial phenomenon that was called forth by the hybrid before its defeat, I know that an unknown foe will come soon. The lives of all the aware will be shaken to their very core. All my efforts to prepare humanity for this impending danger were for naught. Humans forget. A vague, unknown threat looming in the sky quickly became nothing but a small, daily nuisance to most. Until now. Join our hero's story, already in progress. About my only comment so far is it needs to be slightly more optimized. Even in the cutscenes I'm barely able to maintain 30 FPS. I get dips all the way down to 20. I'm not sure what that's about. It looks beautiful though. This is being played on a 10850K and a 3070Ti. So it should be fairly capable of getting high FPS. to 16 and some stutters there. Really beautiful looking game. I just want it to be nice and smooth too. This is being played on PC. Maybe it's the porting process. Just like with Elden Ring recently, a lot of the same stuff. Really strange stutters and slowdowns.
and that takes us to the main game world. This is where I just started experimenting with the various mechanics. Running, jumping, moving the camera around, checking the FPS, top left. There it is real big. Uh, the stamina is one thing that it's just trying to tell me about right here. It's this bar that you can't see that I'm sort of covering right here. You get XP. I'm waving my, my lead bar, my lead pipe around, I guess. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if it's lead. But uh, the game world itself was very beautiful. Uh, it had some interesting stutters, like I said, every now and then. I did like the seamless uh, video to action to video to action. And some of them I'm getting like 120 FPS. I don't understand what the, uh, the stutters are in some of them, you know what I mean? I'm not sure what that's about. So this is right about where the game started to take me in. Um, I'm getting more and more interested in the character itself. Now that I got some of the mechanics down, I've been in a few fights. Definitely not good. The, uh, the arm infection. <laughs> Brings it home, you know what I mean? not looking good for our hero. A stranger approaches. So that's about when we meet this dude. And then uh, he starts handing us missions, explaining the game a little bit. Sort of seems to be kind of a hub right at the beginning, the uh, the town and the house that this guy lives in. So there's a whole bunch of like shops and stuff like that around here. But this is basically where I came to get the next missions. And, ta-da, there's also an emotional story angle. This guy's missing his son. So we're on the hunt for our son right off the bat. The game seems to run better and better the longer you get into it, so I'm not sure what the stutters are at the beginning. Hey! Hey! My son's out there somewhere. I have to find him. And so the quest begins, and this is right where we get our jetpack for the first time. I thought this was really cool. Nice little addition to the world, and immediately came in handy. I noticed that potion up there. So now we're flying. You can find all kinds of things to like soup it up. That fuel right there. You can increase the fuel supply for your jetpack and jet even further. I noticed that finding things was a little interesting. I almost didn't see that ore there in the corner just because it was covered. So stuff doesn't exactly light up. If you miss seeing it, you'd simply miss getting it. Here I'm testing the climbing mechanics. I couldn't jump up just because there's a thing right above my head. <clears throat> These are sort of like little uh, save spots where you can teleport back and forth to all the other little teleporters like this. Now the game actually does have a, a rich inventory system, a nice RPG system where you gotta level up your strength and uh, different items have different effects. Uh, I was trying to find enough uh, stats to get a different uh, a different weapon. Here we're having sort of flashbacks from the first Elix, I presume. I'm guessing this is the main bad guy at the end of the first game. But here in these lands, we're kind of a big deal. <laughs> it's a nice suit. Owned him. Of course, uh, 
There is a really deep map system as well. There's a lot of places that you can go check out stuff. I was trying to zoom in and out, just checking out the map right here. And uh, it made me think there was a lot left to see. So in terms of getting my feet wet in this game, uh, I'm pretty happy to check out more of it. There's the strength system right there. I was leveling up strength and dex so that I could carry uh, one of the legendary weapons I found right off the bat. There it is, the thumper, that first one that we were just looking at. I want to try some of the bows, some of the ranged. I haven't really gotten into that yet. But there's a quick wheel. You can put your weapons out there. Uh, so far, honestly, it's given me enough that I want to find more. It's like Dark Souls in space, and it's kept me interested. So Alex 2 we're coming back for more.